Let's react to some slap. But first, slap that like button and slap that subscribe button and help push this in the algorithm. Thank you. Slow mo. Today, I'm kind of gonna do this video a little bit differently because I didn't understand what all happened here. And with it being a bracket style event, it's a little difficult to follow the same pattern as we usually do. But in this match, we have Kushner versus Adrian. And let's be real, I'm probably gonna f up some names during this event. So I apologize now, but Kushner won the coin flip. Well, I mean, that's not a very good start. You broke your arm with this massive club like i don't even know if that was a slap you just kind of smacked the guy with your forearm it looks like this one's over pretty quick but i'd like to take a moment just to shout out that new smaller table i am very happy about this hopefully this will eliminate some of the jumping and clubbing and flying and peter pan style attacks that these guys do when they literally have both feet off the ground and do you want to know who else is happy about this this guy he's pretty stoked about it at least that's what i'm gonna go with in this matchup, we have Christian going up against Petru. Christian's coming in at 1.98 average humans tall and a weight of 140 infants. Petru's coming in at 1.79 average people tall and he weighs 152 infants. It's actually their height is in meters and their weight is in kgs. I'm not an idiot. Well, that depends who you ask. Petru won the coin flip and he looks hungry for a sandwich. Man, that was a massive shot, and I really hope that it knocks some sense into Christian- Oh, it's not even Christian, it's Christian. Man, I already have been f***ing this guy's name up. Either way, can you put on some longer shorts, bro? That's all I was trying to say before I respectfully f***ed up your name. Like, maybe RXF just gives them a uniform and they're forced to wear one size. It's like a one size fits all. This dude's beard reminds me of, like, the Romanian Rick Ross. His shit is fucking on point. It looks like a cushion that looks like a beard glued to his chin. It looks like Iovo might have peed a little bit. The ref has to clean it up before they can continue. And he's giving him a quick warning. No peeing. Now it's Iovo's. There is one guy in the crowd that is super excited. <laughs> That was a horrible club. Like, that was such a blunt sound. Listen to this. That literally sounded like you just swung a baseball bat at a hunk of meat. And I'm actually confused now because his name here is Christian, but here it's Christian. So which one is it? If you're sizing for shorts or anything like the way that you spell names, no wonder this guy's shorts aren't the right size. He probably thought he was purchasing the correct size. You guys spelt small L-A-R-G-E. The Romanian Rick Ross rattles short shorts over here, but he stepped a little bit. But we all know here at RXF, they don't enforce the rules all the time. So it makes it really difficult to follow, especially with the translation and them speaking Romanian and not putting anything up on the screen. So half the time, I don't even know if they're calling penalties. Oh, and Pietru goes down. Iovu landed another massive shot, but it was a club, and I believe he got disqualified because of it, because Pietru won. In this matchup, I have no idea who either one of these guys are because they don't even have a tag. There was no introduction or nothing. And look at this crap-ass camera angle they gave us on the first slap. This is it, right here. They thought this was quality. It's not. It's absolutely shit. I literally think if I went and looked out my window in Canada, I would have had a better camera angle than this one. But the slow-mo one's on point. I, 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 
Either you two are the most mysterious men of slap, or RXF gave no f**ks about you. I'm not sure which side to go with, but let's see what mysterious slap fighter number two from Romania has to offer. Now I sound like they're just creative characters you got lazy on making f**king names for. <laughs> My god, I think I understand why they didn't show names. This gentleman just killed this guy. Well, probably not. He's gonna be okay, but I still would not want my name out in public if I hit people like that. I'm pretty sure this gentleman has forgotten where he lives, so he's probably not gonna take another slap from him. In this match, we have Victor taking on the previous champion, Droga. Victor won the coin flip, so let's see what he has. Whoa, 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 Victor, you can't slap and run, bro. I mean, that was more than stepping. I literally think that we could call that a slight jog. And you smacked him in the forehead. Now you got that out of the way, Victor. It's your turn to get hit by Droga. And we know he can knock people out. Oh, and Daniel's drowsy. He falls down because he wants to take a quick nap, but he's not allowed. So he's getting back up before he gets a penalty for sleeping. I'll give credit to Victor because Droga has laid out some massive dudes and the fact that you got back up shows you are pretty resilient to sleeping. There you go, that was a clean slap. It wasn't very effective, but it was clean. Legit, that's the biggest improvement between two slaps that I've ever seen in all of the reactions I've done. Dude went from running after a slap to literally planted perfect. Alright, you got the offense side down, but brother, you gotta get them legs on defense. Bro got slapped so hard, the music started playing in his head. But then he realized this guy was not the dream keeper and he needed to still slap. And it was at this point of the live stream, I had no idea how he won the match and why they stopped this now. I was so confused. I just ran with it, and congratulations to both of you. I'm going to assume it was due to penalties. But they brought him right back to face this guy. Mysterious Romanian slap fighter number three now is going first because he won the coin flip. That was literally a perfect slap from that guy. And again, he just falls down. This guy cannot stay up when he gets hit, but he just keeps getting back up. I mean, Victor doesn't have legs, but he definitely has a chin. I believe his attribute for recovery is literally 11 out of 10. He, like, got one of those Easter eggs that you get the extra point on top after you completed all challenges. Oh, and Adrian falls back, but he eats it like it's nothing. I kind of feel like this match is getting repetitive. Like... Adrian hits Victor, Victor falls down, Victor gets back up, Victor hits Adrian, takes it like a champ, then Adrian hits Victor again, he falls, Victor gets back up, then they repeat it, but in slow-mo this time, and Victor landed this massive shot to get himself into the finals. This part of the live stream was like an hour chunk of it. It was crazy how drawn out they had this. So I saved you all 20 minutes of your life. In the other semi-final match, we have Arnott going up against the mysterious slap fighter number two. But they showed us a name now. It's Dinu. He won the coin flip, so let's see what he's got. Arnott definitely looks to be a little bit bigger than Dinu, but I don't think that really matters. Oh, and Dinu knocks down Arnott. And I'm not sure if the crowd doesn't like this man, but they went absolutely crazy when he got knocked down. Like, I get we all like knockdowns and everything, but that reaction seemed a little personal. Like, did he kick a puppy before he came in here? Did he steal a bus seat from a pregnant lady? Or did all of the crowd's drugs just kick in all at once? Because there has not been a reaction that intense the entire night. But let's see what Arnott's going to do against D-New. 
that wasn't even a slap. That was just an aggressive push. And Dinu looks like he's disrespected, not even angry. He's just like, can't believe that he would do such a thing and call it a slap. Be true, D New is going to show you what you should do. My god, D New just made that look easy. That was a perfect slap. Look at this. On the button and his feet didn't move. And P. True gave up, so D. New is moving on to the finals. And he's going up against that little dude that just keeps getting knocked down, called Victor. Introducing first the man, the myth, the guy that defines. If you get knocked down nine, you get up ten times. The guy that is a knockout highlight reel himself every time he comes to a slap fight because his legs are literally made of jello. Tests have been sent out. We are waiting to receive them back. The the man that is single-handedly tonight trying to prove CTE does not exist. His name is Victor, but D New is about to do what he do. I mean, pretty much what I expected. Literally landed that square on the button. That was another perfect slap from D New. Victor, the human weeble wobble, is again getting back up. I, this guy's resilience is absolutely crazy. I 100% agree with this call by the doctors for them stopping this fight. He had been knocked down enough times to justify the stoppage. Congratulations, D New, and thank you, everyone that was involved with this, and thank you, RXF for putting on this event. Thanks for watching, and if you haven't already, slap that like button, slap that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one.